With the front cover installed, we can now install our oil pan. And you'll notice that the front two bolts of the oil pan go into the front cover, so that's why it's easier to do it in this order. I put a dab of blue RTV on the corners of the outside mains to help these corners seal. And now we can lay in our oil pan gasket. Make sure that this channel fully engages into the main caps and some gaskets will have a little nubbin, for lack of a better word, that will fit, in, fit into this crotch here between the main and the, uh, the engine block. Corners are always difficult to seal. As things vibrate and flex, corners separate. And then it should drop down. So most of the bolts are this size, but then there are a couple of these uh, larger bolts that go on the ends to help seal right around those corners I was telling you about. So per usual, torque from the center out. This we are using, in this case, this oil pan has, has its own dipstick. The 5.0 block has a dipstick hole in the block itself. So we're going to uh, block that with some blue RTV because we won't be using that any longer. Now we're going to install our damper. <clears throat> to get things started, we'll uh, definitely want to lubricate the crankshafts now and the seal that'll go around the damper. Also lubricate the threads that the damper bolt will thread into. And of course the ID of the damper. Keyway and the snout. And we want to make sure that we can get a few threads on the damper bolt. So we can tap it in, but don't um, don't hammer too hard because that'll be damaging the thrust bearing on the crankshaft. So, uh, and don't hit on the outside of the damper because this rubber uh, section here will be damaged. So you only can tap. Oh, we want to get our bolt started here. And you want to make sure you get at least three or four turns. So that you're not straining the threads when you pull it in the rest of the way. So, and the way you can help release the tension on the thread is you can just pull it in a little bit and then tap it a little bit. Pull it in a little bit, then it'll release some of the tension by tapping it. A little bit of shock loading releases any binding that could be starting on its way. So you get the idea. Do this until it bottoms out and then torque it to final spec. Now that the balancer and pulley are installed, we're going to go ahead and put on the intake manifold. <clears throat> so I'll show you how you start with the gaskets. First, put a dab of blue RTV underneath the gasket. Now, I don't have exhaust crossovers here, so I just put it in the center. If you do um, have EGR exhaust crossovers, you can use like this area here or here. The purpose of that is so that you can hold the gasket, stick the gasket to the head so it'll stay in the spot that you want it to while you're laying the intake down. It tends to fall down further than you probably want it to to match the ports. Of course, a bead of silicone on either end of the valley and around the water jacket ports. Gently comes straight down evenly looking through some bolt holes that you so you can see that you're lined up and square. So coat the, um, the bolts with some anti-seize 
go ahead and install them all finger tight and then of course torque them from the center outward in various steps and it'll take a number of rotations to go around um, as things pull together so the intake is fully torqued now we've reattached the hoses to the water pump since that's already installed and we can install the valve cover gasket if you do have any uh, questions about anything that I've covered, if I glossed over something or it seemed like I skipped something, don't be afraid to comment. Um, I'll generally get back to you within a day. And uh, good luck with your project. Um, I hope uh, you found this helpful. And I plan to have this engine dynoed once it's broken in, and I'll post those results in an updated video and also on my website. So check out my website, fastfrankmotorsports.com, and if you're at the racetrack that I'm at someday, love to see you. Good luck with your project.